be the wrong way. He gonna be humble. You know, he ain't gotta be up on the stage. I do the talking for you. Anybody that know game, you know. I'm a, I'm a passionate brother, man. I love my city. I love it. I love it as a whole. I'm not scared. And if somebody, if they're asking me a life ticket to, you know, to, to get the point across, the point across, I get mine. I just see my homies, brothers, or who I don't know, strangers on the TV, on the camera. I see them get theirs. And I'm here to fight this war with y'all. I'm not scared at all of anything. I'm not scared of police. I'm not scared of, you know, the evil. I'm not scared of, you know, homies that don't have, you know, a bigger picture in the, you know, in the, at heart. I'm not scared to fight. I'm not scared to preach. I'm not scared to talk. I'm not scared to stay here. Brother Dawu, I salute you and all your generals. I call you on generals because it ain't got to be a leader. We can all be in the same position and stand up for the same fight. Take too much of your time, man. But I will say that um, you know, there's a lot of naysayers, a lot of haters, a lot of people that don't want us in here, don't want me up here. They're gonna get on my Instagram and they gonna say, Oh, you sold out. Fuck you, homie. And I tell you what I'm not gonna do. Stand down for my push for positivity for these babies. No lie. This time, it ain't gonna be had this peace conference, had this march, had this protest, and then we go away to the next night this time.
this point at you? No. And let's be men. When it's a gun pointed at you and it's cocked back, and you know the only thing standing between you and the gun is God, why you wait till then to start praying? Wish, hope. It only take a second to lose your life. Matter of fact, we can't control it all. Somebody gonna lose their life today, but I'm praying and I'm hoping it ain't nobody in this room or it ain't nobody watching that screen outside. So everybody in here, I thank you for waking up today and making this your mission to come down here so that we as a collective unit can save Los Angeles. And there's people in here that ain't from Los Angeles, but we're here today. And if we do it here, it'll start to spiral out. It'll start to trickle down. Because if, if you let, if you, if you look at the history of the nation, whenever tragedy or whenever positive, Los Angeles writes the passage for everything that happens. Don't lie and tear up shit till we do. If you noticed, people ain't gonna be positive and stop killing until we do. This is LA. This was one of the biggest, best cities in the world. Not just the nation of America, in the world. And from this day out, politicians, mayors, president of the United States, all of them gonna be held accountable. Everybody. But before we do that, we gotta hold ourselves accountable. for no money. I didn't come here asking for you to do nothing except give me an ear and hear me out and hear everybody else out on this panel, the speakers, the people that are inter intervention seekers, the people that want to save your kids, save mine. And I got a goal. My goal is that in 10 years, my daughter's five, 13 years, when she turns 18, I want her to walk out the door and I want it to be a little bit more safer, just a little bit. Because I don't like what I'm seeing on the news, I don't like what I'm seeing in the street. I don't drive around LA with security. I don't ride around with a gun no more because I ain't trying to go to jail. I ain't trying to get pulled over and I ain't trying to reach for mine or they reach for I'm not trying to do that. I drive around the city like a black man that's from it and ain't nobody gonna take it from me. I never attended for, uh, you know, my spill to be this long. But if this is happening today and I'm on this stage today, I want to speak right now. And I want to say that I love everybody inside of this room and the ones that weren't, weren't able to make it, the ones that are sitting down, you know, whichever camera is pointed at me that's servicing the people that are sitting in the chairs. I love you. I love you. And I think that that, I think that those three words get lost in translation amongst people across the world. So yeah, Black Lives Matter. I'm black. It does. But you got a whole lot of other people out here in their lives will matter to them too. And go a step further. Let them know that their lives matter too. And you know what they'll probably do? They'll probably accept you and allow your life to matter to them. But I started at the grassroots. Like TC said, the grassroots. That's the babies, man. That's the kids. Because it ain't no five-year-olds running around here with no guns or rags in their pocket yet. They not. They run around here watching TV, cartoons, playing, running when they see you. When you come in the house, your kid don't know if you from 60s or you from Great or you from West Side Park. They just running the daddy. And you as a grown man, as a grown woman, you have an opportunity to shape and mold and turn that kid into Clay and to be something, you know, amazing. And uh, on behalf of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, Brother Tony Muhammad, the Nation of Islam, the Crips and Bloods, and all the, all the Spanish gangs in LA, all the non-affiliated people, all the beautiful people, take initiative. Your life should mean more to you. It should mean a lot more to you than what we're showing. So I say again in my parting words before I hand it off the problem, I love every single person in here. I love every single person on the earth. As a matter of fact, there ain't nobody in the world that I hate. 